Hey everybody and welcome to our channel. I'm Teresa. Ben is back on the camera. If you um, are new to our channel and you're not familiar with the things that we do here on our channel, we try to do a variety of content. And today we're going to bring y'all along and show y'all how we're going to make uh, some pressure canned um, soups. And I don't know the time frame you'll be watching this video, but currently today is Labor Day in the U.S. So that means Ben is off for the holiday and fall is right around the corner. So it's a good time for us to start prepping for winter and preserving and canning some soups. I will leave the instructions on how we make it and the ingredients down in the description box below if you're interested. But in today's video, we're going to be working with a 10 pound bag of chicken tenders. And we ordered a lot of chicken from a fundraiser from our church. So we've got a lot of chicken we're going to work with. So um, if we have more chicken than we do ingredients for the soups that we're making, we will just make some plain canned chicken. So in our soups today, we're gonna to use one bag of celery, we're gonna use a bag of carrots, we're using two onions, and we're gonna put some dry beans and we're gonna use black beans. But when you get ready to eat the soup, you can always add other ingredients to it. You can add things like corn, potatoes, rice, you know, other seasonings and other spices. So when you get ready to eat it, you can kind of just, um, you know, this is, to some could be just a soup base, it could be the complete soup, but anyway, you can always put additions to it when you get ready to make it. All right, y'all, this is what we're doing. We, we've, she mentioned earlier we had chicken tenders, well, they're actually chicken breasts. We were mistaken. But anyway, they're, they're real large, but we're just partially cooking them so we don't have raw chicken everywhere. And they're easier to handle, I think, than just trying to get raw chicken. But we got our other ingredients here, so we're just gonna slice them up. This is just a very rough process. It's just like she said earlier, how we do it. Cause see, you can see the chicken, it's not completely done, but putting it in the pressure canner, we'll finish cooking the chicken. And, you know, cooked the beans. We so did soak them a little bit, just mainly wash them. It wasn't an overnight soak or anything. But we're gonna go on and we're gonna try to get this chopped up and put it all into uh, quart jars. And the canner holds seven, so probably have enough for a couple batches. But we'll cut off, just follow us along, we'll see how it works out. Okay, here we go. We got our chicken cut up, it's partially cooked. Some of it may be all the way through, but. It's gonna finish cooking inside the pressure canner. I'm gonna add one teaspoon salt, about three quarters cup of beans. This is a half, and roughly a half. I'm going in our vegetables. We're trying to make this work out for seven, seven quarts. We've already packed two over there. And we're probably gonna have chicken left over. We're just gonna probably just can a few quarts of chicken by itself in the end. Something like that. And then we just add some chicken and top it off. I'm probably gonna put a, some of the broth in. It's gonna be our liquid that we're gonna use to cover it. Kind of pack it down and we'll leave about a, when we add our liquid, we'll leave about an inch of headspace at the top. Like that. Hope you're enjoying the video so far and if you are please hit that like button it really helps out our channel we really appreciate it
right, we got seven quarts in the canner. We will lock the lid on, crank up the heat, and we'll wait the steam to start coming out here. Once it steams, let it go for about seven to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna, once the steam comes out, we'll put this on here to keep the steam in. And then we're gonna go for 90 minutes. Okay, we'll let the pressure, we'll cut the heat off, we'll let the pressure come back down to zero on its own so we can go ahead and, now that the pressure's down, we'll remove that and we'll go ahead and we can safely open the can. It's hot. The book says do that for two minutes. Okay guys, this is gonna wrap up our Labor Day soup making. We just pulled them out of the canner. They're still extremely hot, bubbling on the inside. Should be good though, some stock for the cupboard if they all ping and seal. Hopefully they'll, that'll work out. But like always, if you like our videos, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification icon. That way you know we put out new videos. And go ahead and check us out on Instagram. We've got our Green Acres Instagram page for the crafts, and we've got OGA Outdoors for the outdoor side. But we'll, we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it at Our Green Acres Home Decor and DIY Inspirations. Also, go over and follow me on Instagram.